controversial Will Smith movie called Concussion will open. It's about the growing alarm over brain damage known as CTE affecting NFL players and others who play contact sports. A University of Michigan study of brains donated by former NFL players found CTE damage in 90% of them. But now KXAN's David Scott reports there is a new Mayo Clinic study that finds disturbing numbers of CTE damage in much younger athletes. Scientists studied the brains of 66 athletes who played contact sports in high school or college and found brain damage in one third of them. For over 100 yards and sacked this time back to the 15 yard line by Taylor Windham. He got rocked. It had been thought NFL type athletes were more susceptible because of the years of pounding they sustained. Oh, oh, oh. Now, the Mayo Clinic has found even limited contact play in school can lead to the same problem. Disturbing news. There's no reason to think that kids would be immune to such injuries, but, but we don't often think of, of uh, high school age kids suffering enough injury to, to have these brain diseases. CTE can lead to memory loss, confusion, aggression, depression. The symptoms don't turn up until years later, and you can only test for it on the deceased, which makes getting accurate numbers difficult. But the sickness, deaths, and suicides of older players and the new study about the young has many calling for no contact sports for anyone under the age of 18. What are parents to think? If the kid plays a game and, and uh, even if they don't have an obvious concussion, but if they finish the game and come home and say, you know, Mom, I'm having headaches, I'm feeling dizzy, I'm just not feeling right. I think they, the, the parents should be uh, aware of that and bring that observation to the coaches. Since 2008, participation in football at U.S. high schools has declined by 5.5%. David Scott, KXAM News. A comparative study of 198 donor brains of students who never played contact sports found none of them had CTE damage. There's a relatively new test that can indicate whether a student athlete is at risk of getting a head injury. It's called the IMPACT test, which stands for Immediate Post-Concussion Assessment and Cognitive Testing. Athletes ages 10 and older can undergo the test to measure attention, visual memory, and reaction time. It only takes about 30 minutes to complete. Athletes who, there we go. <laughs> Athletes who get a concussion during their season are retested and the results from before and after are compared to see when it's safe to return to play. Well,